Tonight, it is our honor to honor a retired Burnsville assistant fire chief who served his community for decades. And we're also highlighting his family, but especially a member that never left his side. Here's Sharon. A much celebrated Burnsville firefighter who got his career started in the Air Force, Daniel Hove lived a full life filled with family, kids, and grandkids. He was someone that his department really relied on to innovate. His daughter, Heather Nicoletti, says her father was like a mentor to so many, all the way until his retirement in 2012, a decision pancreatic cancer made for him. He had a Whipple surgery in February of 2012, and then followed that by rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds and rounds of chemotherapy. Retired Assistant Fire Chief Hove rallied for eight years, surrounded by an envious number of loved ones. But if there was one who never, ever left his side, it was Gunner who made sure no furniture went unshared. They're best buddies till the end. They're hunting buddies. They went everywhere together. So it never came as a surprise when Gunner too started getting sick. The two mirroring each other. When my dad was restless, the dog was restless. Uh, when my dad was unresponsive, the dog was unresponsive. So once we saw, you know, how the dog was doing, he wasn't moving much anymore and just not doing well. We knew it was coming. And on Monday, Nicoletti says she knew. 11-year-old Gunner, with his swollen arms and quiet demeanor, it was time. I called a um, vet clinic I used to work at, got me in right away, and I rushed him up there and put him to sleep. And about an hour and a half later, my dad was gone too. Proving once again that when dogs know, they know so much. I had said, I don't know what's going to be more traumatic for him, to try and take him away, to end, you know, put him to sleep, to end his suffering, or if you let him live through dad dying, I, I think either way, it's going to kill him. We knew they were going to go together, we just didn't know it would be hours apart. The thought of living life without his best friend, unbearable not even for a couple of hours. Nicoletti says she's comforted to know that the two never had to say goodbye. Gunner could not be without my dad, and I think he chose to go with him. Assistant Chief Daniel Hove will be laid to rest this Saturday. His daughter says he wanted a big funeral with taps and honors. And she said she's promising him that just that when this pandemic eases and we can gather together again, he'll get it. We'll be right back.